I'm on Kissing Channel again, and this week is Dr. Seuss week at school, um, so I'm going to be reading Dr. Seuss books every, um, day, and today's book is The Hat and the Hat Comes Back, written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. This was the, this was no time for play. This was no time for fun. This was no time for games. There was work to be done. All that deep, deep snow, all that snow had to go. When our mother went down to the town for the day, she said, someone has to clean all this away. Somebody, somebody has to you see then she picked out two somebodies sally and to me well there we were we were working like that and then who should come up but the cat in the hat oh oh sally said don't you talk to that cat that cat is a bad one, that cat in the hat. He plays lots of bad tricks. Don't you let him come near. You know what he did the last time he was here. And that will be tomorrow's book over um, there. The cat in the hat. Play tricks, left the cat. Oh my, oh my, my, my. Wait, oh my, my. No, no, no. I just want to go in to get out of the snow. Keep your mind on your work. You just stay out there, you two. I'll be in the house and, and find something to do. <sighs> find out what he does in the next book. Then that cat went right in. I'm a little scared of this bit. He was up to no good, so I ran after as fast as I could. Sorry. Didn't make any sense there for a moment. Do you know where I found him? Do you know where he was? He was eating cake in the bathtub. Yes, he was. Not the hot water was on. And the cold water, too. I said to the cat, what a bad thing to do. But I uh, like to eat cake in the tub, laughed the cat. You should try it sometime, laughed the cat, as he said. Then I got mad. This was no time, this was no time for fun. I said, cat, you get out. There is work to be done. I have no time for tricks. I must go back and dig. I can't have you in here eating cake like a pig. You don't, you get out of this house. We don't want you about. Then I shut off the water and let it run out. The water ran out and and then I saw the ring, a ring in the bathtub, in the bath, in the tub. And oh boy, what, what a thing. A big long pink cat ring. It looked like pink ink. I said to the cat, will this ever come off? I don't think. Have no fear of that ring, laughed the cat. In the hat, why I can take, why uh, I can take cat rings off tubs just like that. Do you know how he did it with mother's white dress? White. Anything stains white. Now the tub was all clean, but her dress was a mess. Then Sally looked in. Sally saw the dress too. 
Sally and I did not know what to do. We should work in the snow, but that, but that dress, what, what a spot. It may never come off, Sally said. It may not. <sighs> Our mother's not going to... You're not going to be real happy with them. But, but the cat laughed at Ho-Ho. I can make the spot go up. The way I get spots off a dress is just so. Sorry if you can't really see me moving my legs. See here, laughed the cat. It is not hard at all. One thing that takes spots of a dress is a wall! Then we saw the cat wipe the spot off the dress. Now the dress was all clean, but the wall. What a mess! Oh, wall spots, he laughed. Well, let me tell you some news. Well, to take, let me tell you some news. To take spots off the wall, all I need is two shoes. The shoes, what did he see? I looked and saw those. Whose? I said to the cat, this is very bad news. Now the spot is all over dad's $10 shoes. Sorry, I'm not really good at money. Isn't that ten dollars? Okay. My photo girl, um, more like my um, video girl, uh, is said the right answer for me, like not it or yeah. But your dad will not know about that," said the cat. "He will never find out." Out laughed the cat in the hat. His ten dollar shoes. We'll have no spots at all. I will rub them right off on, on the rug in the hall. No! But now the rug has spots! I yelled, what a day, rug spots, what's next? How can you take them away? I clean up those rug spots before you count three. No spots. Spots are too hard for a cat like me. We ran into that bedroom, and then the cat said, It's good that your dad has the right kind of bed. Then he shook the rug. Quack! Now the bed has a spot. And I could and all I could say was, Now what, cat? Now what? But the cat just stood still. He looked at the bed. This was not the right kind of bed, said the cat. To take spots off this bed will be hard, said the cat. I can't do it alone, said the cat. And the cat. It is good that I have someone to help me, he said. Right here in my hat, on the top of my head, is a good, is, it is good that I have him here with me today. He helps me a lot, this little cat A. And then little cat A took off um, his head, took the hat off his head. It is good that I have someone to help me, he said. This little, this little cat B. And I keep him about. When I need help, I, then I let him come out. Then we said, I think we need a little cat. See, that spot is too much for the cat and me. But now we have, have no fear. We will clean it away, the three of us, little cat. Little cats, B, C, and A. With the cat hat, of course. Or maybe it'll just be the little ones. Come on, take it away, you little cat A. I will put that old spot with 
this broom, do you see? It comes off the old bed. It goes on the TV. Oh no. Then little Cat B cleaned up the TV. He put it, he cleaned it with milk and put a spot on the pan. Let's see. And then C blew it out of the house with a fan. That's a good process. Just one problem. But look where it went, I said. Look where it blew. You blew the mess out of the house, that is true. But you made the snow. But now you made snow spots. You can't let them stay. Let us think about that now, said C, B, and A. With some help, we can do it, said little C. Cat C, then pop. On his head, we saw little cat D, then pop, pop, pop. Little cats E, F, and G. We will clear up that snow if it takes up us all day. If it takes us all night, we will clean it away. The little cats G, F, E, D, C, B, and A. Ooh, I'm scared about this. What if they never get the pink away? It all started with the tub ring. And now it's a snow ring. Was I'm not sure now. They ran out of the house, then we ran out too, and the big cat laughed. Now, now you will see something new. My cats are all clever. My cats are good shorts. My cats have good guns, and they will kill all those spots. I see what's happening here. They're, instead of letting the snow get white, they're letting more snow get white by making snowballs. If I'm getting rid of some of the snow, what are they gonna do with the last snowballs? <sighs> but this did not look very clever to me. Kill snow snots with pop snots. Kill snow spots with pop guns? That just could not be. Ooh. I have a feeling someone's gonna kick someone out of the house. Sorry, my cat jumped on the table and knocked a couple of books down. All this does make more sports. Spots, we yelled at the cat. Your cats are no good. Put them back in your hat. Take your little cat, G, F, E, D, C, B, and A. Put them back in your hat and take them away. Oh no, said the cat, all they need is more help. Help is all they need. So keep still and don't yelp. Then little cat G took off the, um, let's see. Then little cat G took the hat off his head. I have little cat H here to help us. Little, little cats I, J, K, L, and M. But our work is so hard, we must have more than them. We need little cat in, we need O, we need P, we need little cats Q, R, S, T, U, and B. Come on, kill those spots, kill the mess, yelled the cats. And they jumped up the snow with long rakes and red bats. Red bats? Oh. Baseball bat, not like the kind of bat, the one that flies. No, it's the baseball bat. They 
jumped at the snow with long legs and ran fast. They put it in pails and they made high pink heels. The pink snowmen, pink snowballs, and a little pink pill. I'm not seeing the pills. But okay. All the things that they did, and, and they did them so hard, it was all one big spot now, all over the yard. But the big cat stood there, and he said, this is good. This is what they should do, and I knew that they would. And that is my kitty. I'm going to pause this for a moment. Boo boo. Okay, back to the book. That kind of rhymes like at first is, but not really. So big. This is good. What? This is what they should do, and I knew that they would. With a little more help, all the work will be done. They need just one more cat, and I know just the one. Now, here is the Z you can't see, said the cat, and I bet you can't guess what he, he has in his hat. He has something called Zoom. Zoom is hard to get. You never saw anything like it, I bet. Why, Zoom cleans up anything clean as can be. Then he yelled, take off your hat now, little cat Z. Take the Zoom off your head. Make it clean up the snow. Hurry, you little cat. One, two, three, go. Zoom! Um, okay, we're going to the next story. Then the room went boom, and oh boy, what, what a boom. Now, don't ask me what boom is. Um, I never know. But boy, let me tell you, it does clean up snow. So you see, left the cat. Now your snow is all white. Now your now your work is all done. Now your shoes. Now your house is all right. And you know where my little cat left the cat. That boom boom blew my little cat back in my hat. And so if you ever have spots and now them, I'll be very happy to come here again. With little cats A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, A, M, P, and Q, R, S, T, and cat U, and cat V, and little cats W, Y, X, Z, Y, W, X, Y, and Z. And that is the end of our story today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, it, the Cat in the Hat comes back. See you next time. Bye.